how much time he gains, who does not look to see what his neighbor says or does or thinks, but only at what he does himself. The first rule is to keep an untroubled spirit. The second is to look things in the face and know them for what they are. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. Stay calm and serene regardless of what life throws at you. Because a thing seems difficult for you, do not think it impossible for anyone to accomplish. It is the responsibility of leadership to work intelligently with what is given and not waste time fantasizing about a world of flawless people and perfect choices. The object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane. Nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. The art of living is more like wrestling than dancing. A real man doesn't give way to anger and discontent, and such a person has strength, courage and endurance, unlike the angry and complaining. The nearer a man comes to a calm mind, the closer he is to strength. Observe constantly that all things take place by change and accustom thyself to consider that the nature of the universe loves nothing so much as to change the things which are and to make new things like them. To understand the true quality of people, you must look into their minds and examine their pursuits and aversions. It is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. Execute every act of thy life as though it were thy last. Look back over the past with its changing empires that rose and fell, and you can foresee the future too. A noble man compares and estimates himself by an idea which is higher than himself, and a mean man by one lower than himself. The one produces aspiration, the other ambition, which is the way in which a vulgar man aspires. Such as are your habitual thoughts, such also will be the character of your mind, for the soul is dyed by the thoughts. Death is a release from the impressions of the senses, and from desires that make us their puppets, and from the vagaries of the mind, and from the hard service of the flesh. Tomorrow is nothing, today is too late, the good lived yesterday. Despise not death, but welcome it, for nature wills it like all else. Confine yourself to the present. Let not your mind run on what you lack as much as on what you have already. To live happily is an inward power of the soul. Be content with what you are and wish not change, nor dread your last day, nor long for it. To the wise, life is a problem. To the fool, a solution. Nothing happens to any person but what is in his power to go through with. Poverty is the mother of crime.
Adapt yourself to the things among which your lot has been cast and love sincerely the fellow creatures with whom destiny has ordained that you shall live. Everything that exists is in a manner the seed of that which will be. Whatever the universal nature assigns to any man at any time is for the good of that man at that time. Death like birth is a secret of nature. Let it be your constant method to look into the design of people's actions and see what they would be at as often as it is practicable. And to make this custom the more significant, practice it first upon yourself. Anger cannot be dishonest. How much more grievous are the consequences of anger than the causes of it? What springs from earth dissolves to earth again, and heaven-born things fly to their native seat. Perhaps there are none more lazy or more truly ignorant than your everlasting readers. The universal order and the personal order are nothing but different expressions and manifestations of a common underlying principle. To refrain from imitation is the best revenge. Because your own strength is unequal to the task, do not assume that it is beyond the powers of man, but if anything is within the powers and province of man, believe that it is within your own compass also. Men exist for the sake of one another. We are too much accustomed to attribute to a single cause that which is the product of several, and the majority of our controversies come from that. A man should be upright, not be kept upright. Make sure you're not made emperor, avoid that imperial stain. It can happen to you, so keep yourself simple, good, pure, saintly, plain, a friend of justice, God-fearing, gracious, affectionate, and strong for your proper work. What we do now echoes in eternity. Natural ability without education has more often raised a man to glory and virtue than education without natural ability. Remind yourself that your task is to be a good human being. Remind yourself what nature demands of people. Then do it without hesitation and speak the truth as you see it, but with kindness, with humility, without hypocrisy. Life is short. The fruit of this life is a good character and acts for the common good. Everything that happens, happens as it should, and if you observe carefully, you will find this to be so. To live the good life, we have the potential for it. If we can learn to be indifferent to what makes no difference, Live out your life in truth and justice, tolerant of those who are neither true nor just. We live only now. Everything else is either past or is unknown. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. No man can escape his destiny, the next inquiry being how he may best live the time that he has to live. Do not act as if you were going to live 10,000 years. Death hangs over you. 
While you live, while it is in your power, be good. The universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Nothing happens to anybody which he is not fitted by his own nature to bear. Shame on the soul to falter on the road of life while the body still perseveres. Stop whatever you're doing for a moment and ask yourself, am I afraid of death because I won't be able to do this anymore? Brief is man's life and small the nook of the earth where he lives. Brief too is the longest posthumous fame, buoyed only by a succession of poor human beings who will very soon die and who know little of themselves, much less of someone who died long ago. Let each thing you would do, say or intend be like that of a dying person. Each thing is of like form from everlasting and comes round again in its cycle. Do not indulge in dreams of having what you have not, but reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess, and then thankfully remember how you would crave for them if they were not yours. If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. Whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question. What fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I'm about to criticize? Thought-provoking quotes have the power to inspire us. Which quote from the video resonated with you the most? Let me know in the comments below.